Hello dear students. Today we will discuss about Einstein's coefficients useful in the study of laser. As we all know there are three processes. Absorption, spontaneous emission and stimulated emission. In absorption the electron or atom will jump from low level to the high level. But in the emission process they will jump from high energy level to low energy level. In spontaneous, the emission will take place by their own and in stimulated, we need to send some external photon. Okay, so for the first and the third process, we require some external photon whose energy is h nu, which is exactly equal to the difference between these two levels. So we require external photon in the first and the third process, right? Let us write the equations for the rate. RAB stands for rate of absorption, RSP stands for the rate of spontaneous emission, RST stands for the rate of stimulated emission. Now we know that we require external photon in the first and the third process. That's the reason we are writing rho which is a function of nu. What is the meaning of rho which is a function of nu? It is the energy density per unit frequency of incoming photons. What is energy density? It is u divided by frequency that is nu. But we know that energy density u is nothing but energy per unit volume. Also energy of photon is given by h nu. Nu and nu gets cancelled. So we are left with h over v. h is the Planck's constant unit joule second. v is the volume. The unit is meter cube. Be careful with the meaning of rho which is a function of nu. Correct. In the first case I am writing n1 which is the number of electrons or atoms in the lower level. But in the second and the third process starts from the top therefore we are writing n2 which is number of electrons or photons in the upper level. Okay. There are three coefficients b12, a21, b21. Okay. Why we are writing 1, 2? Because the transition is from first level to the second level. That is lower level to the top level. Here we are using the suffix 2, 1 because the transition is from level 2 to the level 1. Correct? Remember, for spontaneous process, I am using the coefficient a. But for the stimulated, what do you mean by stimulated? Where we require external photon. The coefficient used is b. So remember for stimulated process the coefficient is b, for spontaneous process the coefficient is a. The suffix indicates the direction of transition. Got it? Now, under thermal equilibrium the number of upward transitions is equal to the number of downward transition. Now we know that there is only one upward transition. So here I will write the rate of absorption but there are two downward transitions one is spontaneous and the other one is stimulated so we can write RAB is equals to RSP plus RST let's substitute their equations so RAB is given by N1 rho into B12 RSP is given by N2 into A21 plus RST is given by N2 into rho into B21 Got it? Now, we will bring the terms containing rho on one side. So, we can pull rho common from here. So, we are left with n1 into b12 minus n2 into b21 is equals to n2 multiplied by a21. Hence, I can design the equation of rho as n2 into a21 divided by this whole bracket. Correct? Now, I want 1 over here. Why? That you will come to know later. But in order to get 1 here, what I'll do, I'll divide each term of RHS by N2 into B21. So in the numerator, if I divide by N2 into B21, N2, N2 gets cancelled. We are left with A21 divide B21. If I divide this term by N2, B21, so you are getting N1 over N2, B12 over B21 minus n2 into b21 divided n2 into b21 will give you the result as 1. Now why I divided by this term only? We have Boltzmann's relation. 
okay which says that n1 over n2 is equals to e raised to e2 minus e1 over k t so instead of this n1 over n2 we can substitute this result so we have to substitute result number 3 into result number 2 with this substitution we will get rho is equals to a21 over b21 correct divide b12 over b21 into see that ratio of n1 by n2 i am replacing by e raised to a2 minus e1 over kt minus 1 right now we have planck's energy distribution formula which says rho is equals to 8 pi h over lambda q the whole divide e raised to a2 minus e1 over kt minus 1 now my aim was to compare this equation with the planck's distribution formula in which we have one in this position that is the reason i tried to bring one in the above equation now simply compare these two equations you will see that here the coefficient of e is 1 and here the coefficient of e is b12 over b21 therefore i can write b12 over b21 is equals to 1 therefore b12 is equals to b21 same way if i compare the numerator A two one over B two one can be replaced by eight pi h over lambda cube. So therefore, we will have A two one over B two one is equals to eight pi h over lambda cube. From here, we can write B two one is lambda cube over eight pi h into A two one. But B two one is also equals to B one two. So this gives me the relation between the three Einstein's coefficients which are used in the study of laser. i hope the mathematical work is clear for you all thank you